Hey, so this is a quick video to show you about formatting your papers in APA format in MS Word. So the good news is, is the recent APA update makes formatting a lot easier. So let's take a look at it. Um, under the new APA, it's simply, we're going to have the same heading. Now, APA does say, you know, that teachers can say what they want in their header. But it advises if, if your instructor doesn't say, you know, I want this or that, that it, you do it like this, you know, in your title page in general. So I'm going with what they advise for in general. So this is what I expect to see. And you can see you've got a page number um, right here. Let me make this, whoops, a little bit bigger. Um, we've got the page number right here at the top. This is all going to be in the same font. So make sure you carry that through. Um, so it's going to be your header on every page, page number top right, and then the title, this is actually skipping a couple of lines, title in bold, same font, whole things in 12 point font, okay? Don't change font size, if you're doing that, you're working too hard. And then you're gonna skip a line, and so this is double space, so you're just gonna enter that one extra time, not two, and then have your name, and then the um, department, discipline, whatever it is in your college and the name or university or college and at El Paso Community College instead of calling our um, departments departments we call them disciplines so like English discipline, history discipline, that kind of thing. Um, so we use the wording there so you need to look that up and see what your college or university does. You find that in the catalog, um, your, usually your course scheduling area. Um, and then the common abbreviation as it's given for your courses with the colon and the title of the course. Your instructor, obviously if your instructor has um, PhD, you would put doctor, otherwise you can put professor, instructor, just his or her name. Use the full name. Double check your spelling. Everybody knows how to spell their name and the first thing they'll notice is it's spelled wrong. So double check that. You can always find that at the top of your syllabus your course instruction materials and then the date and notice it is typed out no slash dates that's informal so type out the full month and then of course the numerals for the um, day and the year and that's it on our first page um, so let's take a look at it let's do it really quickly so I'm gonna double click up here to get in the header or you can also click on insert and then um, I actually you can go straight to page number top of page do plain number three, nothing fancy, college papers are plain, simple, academic, highlight it, it will be in 11 font, point font because that is Word's default unless you changed your default and click up one, make sure it's in 12. You can also um, go over here and click on the call out for font under the home tab and then once you change it to 12, you can click set as default and all documents based on the normal template and say okay if you're on your own computer that will make every time you open up just a regular blank document that will make the font automatically 12 which if you're just really writing for school change that I mean you need to double check it but theoretically it should always come up as 12 and that's what almost every teacher is going to ask for so that's on you but um, you know think about doing that so it's one less thing to think about I don't do it because I need to show that to everybody. So, okay, boom, there we go. There's our header. That's easy. Used to, you had to have different ones. It was a pain in the butt. No more of that. Now, we're going to enter, enter. Well, first of all, I'm going to say Control A. I just selected all. And I'm going to go to Paragraph and double check and make sure that my, um, my spacing before and after in my paragraphs, and I just clicked on the little paragraph call out arrow on the home tab under paragraphs is zero zero single and don't add space between paragraphs of the same style remember we don't want that extra space between paragraphs okay I'm gonna enter like oh did I double space it I don't see there's always one more thing one more thing one more thing and again you could set all this as a default if you're like you know what I'm always gonna be writing I'm almost always writing um, papers for my college classes then set it as default title so here you're gonna have your spiffy title 
and then um, maybe a subtitle. So you might have spiffy title, you might have a subtitle. If you do, you're going to go ahead and do those in bold, and I'm going to center them like that. You would have the colon between your title and your subtitle. Okay, you don't have to have a, a subtitle. You can. Many academic papers do. I'm going to turn off my bold. I'm going to skip an extra line. Notice it moved it down here. And then let's go back and check and see what we need next. Name, um, discipline, department, and college, and then class. So, great students, you put your name in there. English discipline. Oh man, let's look at comma. Let's actually spell check that. Oh uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that D there. El Paso Community College. Oh man, typing is not my forte today. There we go, just like that. So if you're nursing, psychology, whatever you're writing for, and then we're going to have English 1302. Oh, 1301, whichever one you're taking with me, or if you were doing, you know, psychology, whatever it is, and the title of it, and this is Composition 1, and again, you should be able to find all of that stuff on your um, official syllabus. And remember, when you log into my EPCC, you can find um, all of that services, so if you need to go find my syllabus, uh, other teacher syllabi, whatever it is, their syllabus part two, so that would take you to the official one. Um, I have another video that shows you how to find the English 1302. Let's go with that, um, the official one. So click here, boom, and this shows you. Da da da. Gotta wait on the college. Um, here's the course number. Here's the course title, so it, it gives you that. So if you're not sure about your course and you can't find your syllabus, you can find it through my PCC. Okay. Um, all right. So let's see where were we at? Page setup. We got this. We got that. Oh, date, instructor, and date. So um, Kelly. Oh, let's go with Professor Kelly L. Would again check that spelling because um, and everybody recognizes their name spelled wrong, okay? And that's it. That's the new title page. Um, none of this author no, no different, um, anything like that. You press enter. The nice thing we're going to do is we're going to just have our, um, right on that first line, don't put any extra lines in there. So I pressed control, enter, and that gave me a new page. And then I can put in my title. And then I'm going to start my typing. Remember to tab and then start your sentences. Is that the other right? If I have a references page, control enter. Again, I'm going to center our references. Let's see if I got it spelled correctly. Oh, I did. And then I'm going to um, type in my references. When I'm writing a longer paper, I really do like to go ahead and um, enter, uh, uh, enter and create this page, and that way I can start writing. And then as I go along, once I, you know, decide hey, I want to use this source and that source, and I put a source in, if I'm over here typing along, then and I use a source, then I can just go over here and put that source in. Remember, on your references page, everything will be in hanging indent. You can highlight them if, as long as you don't enter until you're at the end of the reference. Highlight and press Control T for ta da! Or, let me undo that, go to paragraph, get that call out, indentation, special, hanging, OK. All right? And so that gives us, you will have. For every APA paper you write, you will have at least three pages. You will have your title page. You will have some text because you're writing something. And, well, you'll have at least two. If you're not citing anything, you wouldn't have your references page. But if you're citing anything, you'd have at least three. And obviously, you'll probably have more. Do remember when your teachers give you page length, that title page and the references page don't count towards page length, okay? Um, just your text. And remember, page length is about depth of thought. So if it's 
one page. They're not asking for a lot of thought. Do a little bit. Um, two, three, four. We're saying deeper thinking. And the nice thing is the longer it gets, the more often you're asked to use sources. So you want to make sure and cite those so you're doing it right, but you don't have to come up with all the words. Okay? So there's the um, nice short little um, thing on doing APA format. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I'll help you out. And other than that, that's all I got, so happy formatting.